7 o'clock, so um, let's call this meeting to order and I pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation under God, God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commissioner Kidwalker? Here. Commissioner Chambers? Here. Commissioner Barker? Here. Commissioner Salzito? Here. Commissioner T. Lander is absent. Commissioner Gerard is absent. And Chair Zanstrom? Here. I make a motion we excuse Gerard and T. Lander tonight from the meeting. Second. All in favor? Yes. 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 Opposed? All right. Move on to the approval of the agenda. Motion to approve it. Second. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? All right, it's approved. All right, let's move on to the approval of the minutes from the previous meeting, uh, June 27, 2016. Motion to approve it. I'll second. All in favor? All right. Yes. yes. Opposed? All right, passes. All right, let's open up to public comments and communications concerning any items that are not on the agenda. Looks like there aren't any, so we can move on to old business. All right, so we started with some goals and priorities. Um, you guys are going to have to fill me in on last, last month. Um, I think in our last meeting we skipped over that portion um, and moved right on to the uh, Lighthouse um, yep. agenda. Second hand review? Yep, so we kind of skipped over the whole business so that more of us would be here for that. Okay, well we have um, for goals and priorities, um, do we have anything you guys want to talk about? Well, I don't know how much information I got, got to Sue, and, and, and I'm not sure she's had time to actually audit it as far as what maybe were the top one, two, or three items, and then we, we could take a look at that and make a decision of how it came out and, and then go from there. So do you have that information? you need a little more time? I can put together a packet of okay. the information. I have, I have received input from John Gerard, um, you and then I must have missed Bruce um, Barker's email, but I have that now, so I can put a packet together with everybody's information and email that out to you so you have it for the meeting in August. If I can get you my email this week. Okay. I should try to then. That'll work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my wife will email it. <laughs> All right, well, we can move on to um, zoning ordinance, uh, uh, the, the commissioner's top three picks. Um, I know um, John, I think, sent out some information on that. Um, you guys have it or I have pass it. it around? I've got it in my email here. Um, so that. Um, email that I sent is in regard to the zoning audit, ordinance audit. So the, okay. the, the email that I sent you has that information. So that can be, uh, you, you can give that to them tonight if you want. Okay, or, we can pass that around. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Speed up. <laughs>
You guys have any thoughts? No, every time I keep going over them, I keep changing. I think the more I read it, the more I do it. Would it help, be helpful to do a top 10 or 20 or what's the number? <laughs> How many are there? How many are there? Okay. Yeah, let's not go there. I, I tried to break out the ones that Andy should uh, should have priority for. And I think I came up with us looking at um, chapter 4 and chapter 17, I think, was whatever was in yeah. the email, I think 4 and 17. But there's an awful lot in there that it pertains to the State of Michigan Zoning Enabling Act um, and us updating that portion of it. And there's no sense us doing that. Andy's got all of that information. Right. And same thing with definitions. It's it's to keep a running list of new definitions makes some sense, but to start off with that, um, if we're changing a lot of things, or if we do make changes, we still have to update that. So it, it, it just seems to me as though the the, er, the, the first portion of, of it would be on chapters 4 and 17, where the discussion and decisions that we have to make, not necessarily Andy, I guess, would, would be my, my, my choices. Let him do all the catch up work. The language, well, language, he raised a lot of questions on language. Absolutely. Which it's better for him to do it than for us to try to wordsmith them. Yeah, my experience, rather than doing it as a team, having somebody bring it to us to review is uh, right. definitely faster and Correct. more effective. Do you have any thoughts, Joe? So, for, you're, you're saying, um, and we're going to pass on Andy to, uh, you'd like Andy to do, um, say those again? Definitions. Definitions, okay. Yeah. Chapter 2. Yes, um, definitions should be the last to be considered. Um, district standards should go towards the end of the process as well since they may change, mm. uh, i.e. the River's Edge District. Uh, priorities updating the zoning ordinance to reflect all the changes mandated by the Michigan Zoning and Enabling Act. And Andy has the playbook on these updates, and they have to be done, but would um, require a little time on our part. Clarifying all language issues that Andy raised in his memo of April 6th, he can bring the revised language to us in stages or all at once, either way. Um, again, a little time required on our part. Um, zoning map updated before district standards um, to be considered. I, I don't know how current the zoning map is. We just did the river's edge, so it should be fairly current. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it should be, but I, again, chapters 4 and 17 may be the pivot points for the Planning Commission to actively talk about while Andy is doing his management definitions, uh, MZA and language. Um, those, are, those are my suggestions. Yeah, I like 4, I would agree with you there, especially 4. Yeah. Yeah. Any other questions? Yeah, I'm going to ask you to read keep this, um, this moving along here, but um, maybe with those things in mind, um, by next time we can aim to have our recommendations uh, emailed in and then um, finally kind of come to a conclusion and uh, maybe decide on it next month. Would that work for you guys? Yes. Okay. It's a little homework. Hopefully that's okay. All right, any other comments, or do you guys ready to move on? Well, I need to get how they're saying Yeah, we'll make a second. So, in general, the plan is that you guys are going to review chapters 4 and 17 for um, things that are confusing. I mean, what specifically are, I guess, I'm just for my own purposes, so I know what, what you'd be looking for for me. Um, I guess, um, with regard to chapter 4, you know, we went through this. Um, this thing with the audit, and there are a few pieces and parts that I kind of um, picked up on. So if, um, if 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 we're eventually going to probably rewrite this whole chapter, or at least work on an update for various chunks of it, um, you know, it might be helpful for you guys to sort of you know know what you're be looking for. So maybe it's just if it's something that's confusing or something that maybe you feel that should be addressed that isn't that I can address at the next meeting. Um, something like that, I think, just so I know where where we're going, what my role is going to be. Um, I mean, I can certainly keep track of, um, you know, needed definitions or, you know, definitions that need to be changed or um, 
or things like that. But some of the stuff in chapter four, I think, um, as Bruce said, there's a lot of stuff with regard to the act that we have to write fairly specifically because of, of, of the way the act reads now. And so um, those will be easy ones to do, but I guess I just want to make sure that, that you guys know what you're looking for and that I know what you're looking for as you, as you <coughs> review this, this particular chapter because eventually we're going to have probably a fairly long amendment that'll say, here's your new chapter and we'll highlight all the changes that, that we made to it. Yeah, I, I was looking at this as chapter four, which one of the six items would be tackled or okay. tackling all six items or a specific item in chapter six or okay. chapter four. Okay, so we're so that, that's six what, things in my report, right? Yes, okay. and were we going to address all of those? And mm -hmm. I think in John's spreadsheet, he kind of looked at what those six items were and put it mm -hmm. a high and a low. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, so that we that you didn't get burdened with, with six things in chapter four get done. And which one of these is, is the most important? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That that was my take, so okay. only one. Yeah. I would agree with that. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That helps things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because <clears throat> if you looked at chapter uh, five through sixteen, there, I mean that was a lot to look at. I mean there was maybe one in there that stuck out for me more than others. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, it's a lot of rewriting if you're doing whole, three whole chapters, so. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. That's how I best yeah. base my top three, so I'm not sure how everybody else based theirs on. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, can we do that then? Um, stick to maybe some, what do they call them? Page, uh, chapter, page number? Right under the chapter? Mm -hmm. And then next time, what's your thought? Yeah, I, what I, I guess what I would do is uh, have, have us look at chapter four and go through each one of the six that he's named here and just go through and see if there is any questions and that Andy can give us any, any thoughts that he has on those. But maybe maybe at the next meeting, look at chapter four. Yeah. And it's our homework to, to, for us to look at chapter four and, and, then, and then capital 17 somewhere. Like, just kind of follow that format. Yeah, I mean, one thing that... Uh, while we're talking about chapter four, one thing that I will point out to you is that item number two here on my list, where I'm talking about section 4.10 pertaining to temporary uses, should be revised. That's actually already been done. That that was an ordinance that I wrote, gosh, a couple of years ago now. And um, because it requires the city to also modify one of its other ordinances, it's kind of been shelved for you know some period of time until some of those things get worked out as far as, um, you know, I think that we accept that they're called transient merchants, the sort of, mm -hmm. this, this sort of temporary sales activity and, and when you can do them and things like that. The city's rules differ a little bit from what I proposed in the building. Um, so if that's one that, that you want to, to pick up on and, 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 and kind of run with, that's great. I don't have a problem with that, but I'm just letting you know that that's, it, it's been discussed to some mm -hmm. degree already and there's some additional steps that we have to push a bit harder to work through to get that one done. Yeah. Andy, could you, could you at, at the next meeting bring those additional steps and then we won't, we won't necessarily yeah. have to? Mm -hmm. Well, I, this, the only real, real step mm -hmm. at that point would be to, to work with council to, uh, to amend the, mm -hmm. the, the current peddlers, solicitors, and transient merchants or many that currently existing. That's in the step. Mm -hmm. Um, but to make that viable, I think we need to talk with the chamber um, and, and, and some other folks to make sure that we're not doing something that's going to, you know, cause additional problems outside of the framework of the zoning ordinance. Mm -hmm. yeah, and I know we had a discussion on six earlier to that same section about being able to keep animals in. And, I mean, we talked in length about that to do what for each animal or would we allow. So I'm not sure we left off of that one either. Yeah, I think that one was before I was here, but I know it has been talked about recently, and we probably have files on it at the office that look at those. So I will review those as well. And, I mean, all of it's on the table, so I don't feel like I'm telling you not to look at something, but right, right. with a couple of these, just I'm making you aware that yeah, exactly. there's, there's lot some size, level of discussion. Everything, yeah, everything had to do with some animals, with whether it's lot size and what you could keep. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's a good example of us taking Chapter 4 
one one at a time, you know, just doing a chapter four and then do chapter 17 and, mm -hmm. and then kind of make decisions where you want to go from there. But it also gives Andy a heads up that that's what we're going to talk about, you know, the next month and gives him a, you, you a chance to look at mm -hmm. it uh, ahead of time. It gives yeah. us a chance to review it too. And I know Marty and I are both new here, so. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I stay up nights reading and here, but I, you know, at some point it's. We, we have to hone in. Yeah, well, well, let's start with chapter four. Okay. You guys good with that? Yeah. Start with chapter four, start working our way through it and seeing what we have. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other comments, questions, something to say? No business. So we're going to go right through chapter four, start with section one. Yep. One, two, let's keep on going. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good place to start. All right, if there's nothing else, let's move on to new business. Second. All in favor? Yes. 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 All right. It's open. All in favor. Anything? Oh. This, um, I, I think just if there's somebody that's you to talk about, you know, what's being applied for and why. I think some background for you guys and would, would be good to say, you know, what's being asked for, why it's being asked for, and then I can give us some sort of some additional thoughts on the, the update. So if you have anything um, that you want to add or, or mention to sort of describe what's going on, or do you want me to do it? That's <laughs> I don't really have anything to add. I guess I, I can explain what it sure. is. Yeah, we don't. A little background. Wonderful. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thanks for taking time to hear me today. Yeah. Um, I just need you to state your name, please. All right, my name is Tim Zartman, and um, I guess I'm making a request for the zoning text amendment to allow dog kennels in a light industrial area. Um, my wife and I are dog lovers, and um, we want to create a, like a dog daycare center, and a, we're calling it a bed and biscuit going to be kind of a boutique, um, affordable, yet not really big, you know, it's going to be kind of a, I mean, we're building it to have a maximum occupancy of 60 dogs, so, um, you know, that's what we're doing, so adult dog daycare and dog kenneling, and want to love these dogs and give them a good place to burn off some energy during the day. Yes, that's right. about it. Yeah. All right. Thank All right. You. Thanks. So, uh, just for you guys' um, information, uh, so what's specifically being proposed here is that they're asking that the text of the zoning ordinance um, be be changed so that a, uh, a a dog kennel is the term that we're using because that's what what he is describing meets what we would consider the definition of a dog kennel. Um, and so he, we, he's asking that we amend the ordinance to include that as a, a permitted use by right in the light industrial district only. Um, the, the property that he's thinking about, I think it's 1351 Bowes, which is right at the, uh, be the northeast corner of Valley Vista and Bowes Road. There's two parcels there. They're both within the light industrial district. Uh, one of them, I think, is vacant, which is the one he's looking at. Um, and so his, his request would only change the ordinance to simply, we basically just add another bullet underneath the uses permitted by a right. It would say, um, I think the term we use is uh, commercial kennels or something right. like that. Um, and, and so at this point, that's all they're asking for. There, there hasn't been a site plan review or anything like that that's been conducted. And if, if this were approved, that would be his next step if you were to proceed with an application and wanting to actually build a building and build a facility and get started. Um, so the effect of this would be fairly limited because there are only a handful of parcels in the city that are within this light industrial district. Uh, and those are only the two that I mentioned here. And then there's a, maybe a couple properties just right across the street here south of um, a little granite, which would be, it looks like, uh, right at about the corner of in the Washington in front, which is just across the street here. There's a couple parcels there. So those would be the only lands where 
this change is really going to have any effect. Everything else is going to stay the same. Um, you know, we met uh, with Tim a while back when he was asking about this, and it seemed you know fairly reasonable to um, make this request. As far as you know, there's not a lot of. I mean, typically there's not a lot of a lot more noise or anything unreasonable that would be associated associated with a dog kennel that you know wouldn't be inspected with some other sort of light industrial operation. So um, that's a request. You don't have to necessarily take it as is. If you wanted to, if you were more comfortable with it as a, a special land use instead of permitted by right, you could certainly make a change like that if you wanted to. Um, that's up to you. I don't personally have an issue with it being a use permitted by right in that district. Um, but the, uh, if it were a, a special land use, there would be a public hearing. There's a little bit more process and a little bit higher standard um, of approval there. I don't know that that's necessary in this case, but it is an option to you. So um, with that, I guess I'll, I'll turn it back over to you. Uh, Chairman answer. if there are any um, questions, just let me know. And uh, so I wasn't catching that. So the facility that they'd be thinking about would be right here. So Valley Vista and Bowles Road right here are not quite at the corner. There's two parcels here. So it would be this parcel that I got aligned is where they're thinking this one would be and this one has a building on that. What's the size of the parcel? Uh, how big is that piece there? Acre and a quarter. Acre and a quarter. Is that the one right by uh, Whitesbridge to them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just so across the street. East of Dock Park. Okay. Yeah, how about right by the dock? Good location. Good location. <laughs> 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 Do you have any uh, experience with anything like this, Andy, or any, any background or, or anything? Um, I don't know that I've done a dog kennel specifically. Um, Cat kennel? Before. No, 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 I no, can't say I have. I mean, we, we've dealt with them in general. Yeah. Um, most ordinances allow for them somewhere, and yours allows for them somewhere. I mean, right now, I think yours permits to them, and I want to say C3, which is your main street, you know, most of your main commercial district, uh, down on the uh, west side of town. Mm -hmm. So they are currently already permitted, uh, you know, quite a, in quite a few places. Now in the, in the C3 zone, that's a special land use, not a use permitted by a right. Um, but I think, you know, generally it's probably safe to say that the use is allowed in the light industrial will probably, probably equally, if not potentially more intense than what you've got in the C3 zone. Um, so again, this this isn't necessarily something where all of a sudden it's going to be possible for these commercial canals to be popping up all over the place. We're talking about three or four parcels potentially where you could even do this. I think only one realistically where you could because it's the only one that's not being utilized right now. Um, so your your charge, I guess, tonight and your your focus should just be on whether or not you think that you know this is something that should be permitted in that. The, the the details as far as the impacts of the kennels and you know noise and traffic mm -hmm. and animal safety um, employee parking landscaping all the other stuff that goes along with the site plan review stuff would come at a subsequent meeting so after this uh, then they would have to apply for um, a site plan review um, at a minimum if you guys decided to make it a, a special use uh, and there would also be a special land use application and, and review. The process is similar in that it, it's going to end up here again if they decide to move forward. Mm -hmm. Is there any problem with commercial counts? Can it be anything commercial counts, like counts? What else can um, they put in there? You have count count? That's well, let's see. <laughs> the definition for a commercial kennel says, I'll just read it right under the notes here if I can find it. Um, it says any lot or premises on which more than three dog, three or more dogs, cats, or other household pets, six months of age or older, are either permanently or temporarily boarded for commercial purposes. A kennel shall also include any lot or premises where household pets are bred or sold for commercial purposes. So to answer your question, are we talking about you know, horses and cows? No, we're not. We're talking about household pets. Just checking. Primarily, yeah, it's yeah. going to be, I mean, primarily, I would say kennel. When you think of a kennel, you think of dogs. Okay. Um, but it could, it could be, you know, like, a, I suppose this could be, also include, aside from like a daycare, it could include 
um, you know, like a like a hotel, dog hotel kind of a thing, where you go on vacation, you board them somewhere. Is that what kind of um, thing? It, it is going to be a dog hotel. Yeah. Okay. But I guess really a quick question under the definition of a kennel, a dog daycare is not a kennel. It's a they're not they're not being boarded. Right. Well. Um, I mean, I'm just curious. Says, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess be, if we didn't board them and just had a daycare, how yeah. would that be? Yeah, I mean, my my in, in, interpretation of the ordinances is are either permanently or temporarily boarded. Yeah. So, I mean, so to me, even if it's a day, we're talking about a, um, a commercial, a temporary commercial activity. Um, and the other option, if we didn't do this, would be to actually come up with a, a new definition and a new term called, you know, animal daycare or something like that. Right. And that would take <laughs> another couple of months. I think this is close enough in this case, and I think yeah. it fits that that definition. So I know it says kennel, and it's it, what 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 you're proposing is not exactly that. Yeah. But I think for the purposes of the ordinance and this, for the purposes of what the definition says, we would consider it that we process that in a similar manner. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Well, I work in the pet supply industry, and yeah. I deliver to a lot of kennels and stuff like that, and some of them are just amazing to me, the quality of care they put in. With that being said, there are kennels, no disrespect, there are kennels that you go, oh, my good Lord, and we have contacts that we're supposed to call as drivers when we make deliveries, you know. I've seen it all. I like the idea of it. I think it's a wonderful idea. It's really beginning, I think, to be a growing trend. We're seeing it in our end of the industry. And the biggest complaint I ever hear out of it, and that'll come later, is the noise. As you know, it's quiet sometimes, and then it gets noisy, but that's... That sees a squirrel. Yeah, well, no, it's... If, let's say I back my semi down in there and I unload because he's buying food to feed his animals, or he's got a boutique and he's gonna be buying whatever, it excites the dogs. Because not all dogs no, are just drunk driving down there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the only thing I got is there's only a few residents potential that I'm aware of uh, in that area. I'm quite sure they'll be here to express their opinions. Yeah, you get the condos on the corner and then... School of Yeah, then there's a house that would I actually... I mean, yeah, they're, they're businesses, they're, they're eight to five type things, you know. Maybe most of your dogs will be eight to five and coming out of there an occasional overnighter. But you do have a time pickup, right? We are going to be probably open from like dropping off people going to work from 6:30 a.m. to 6:30 p.m. is kind of our right. target time. Yep. And then um, we'll, then the boarding they would once it's once 6:30 came then you know the dogs would spend the night. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much typical of what I've seen in the past. The only, the only concern I would have is it's right behind McDonald's, so how fast are they going to walk their way over there? <laughs> that's right. I, I do like it. I, I think it's perfect for the uh, light industrial. Great, huh? I do too. Matter of fact, just before I got here, my wife and I were talking about going up to Charlotte Way and why we wish we had a one day carry you just let them here at night without going all the way to Grand Rapids. Uh, we've yes. struggled in this area with, like there's a few around here, but mm -hmm. ours is going to be number one. You guys will really like it. Excellent. I look forward to seeing the next phase. Yeah, yeah. yeah. super. Um, Personally. So a couple things to your point, Jim, if, and again, you, I think Perm permitting it by right is a, is a fine approach. That's what I've written here. Um, that's not necessarily, that's that's not going to result in, in notifying the neighbors around there. Right. Um, that's just going to be at a, at a regular meeting and unless they're really paying right. attention, mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to be here. So just so you know, um, and then if you guys are inclined to um, approve this, you would have a motion to recommend approval to city council as it's written. Um, alternatively, you could change it to a uh, special use, and I could revise this, but that part of it is up, is up to you guys. I like, I like it like it is. Yeah, it good. We got closer here. Yep. Yeah. Um, motion to close here. Support? Yep. All in favor? Yes. 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 All right. That's closed. Uh, motion to accept this is. Support? All in favor? Yes. Yes. Opposed? All right, it's passed.
than that. Well, no other new business being listed. Let's move on to the staff report. And that is another to report. Support. All in favor? Yes. yes. Opposed? Excellent. Excited to see what you 